press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss any update from Tech Primers. Builder patterns are patterns. We generally often use them when we are writing lots of APIs. However, we rarely create them on their own in our source code. We generally do that while creating test cases, when we want to mock up objects, when we want to create values of POJOs, that's when we create builder patterns. However, builder patterns are useful when you have lots of objects and you want to create multiple values from a POJO and you want to create them in a more immutable way. Let's see how we can create builder pattern from scratch. I have a builder pattern folder here. I'm going to create a class called builder example. So this will be the main class from where we will be accessing the builder classes. I'm just going to create a public static one main. So for simplicity, I'm going to create a POJO called foam. So in general, what do we have in a phone, right? How do we assemble a phone? We generally have the back panel. We have the front panel as well, which has the screen and stuff. So I'm just going to add it as front panel, back panel. We do also have the processor. We have the type of processor which we have and also the camera. These are the different features of a phone, right? So these constitute a phone. So I'm going to create a phone with these features. So how do we generally create it? As a POJO, we generally add the getters and setters, right? So we add the getters and setters and we create the phone here. So let's say I create a phone called OnePlus. So what do I do? I just create a new phone. I just say OnePlus dot set camera as 12 megapixel OnePlus dot set back panel as uh, sandstone finish front panel as set front panel as AMOLED one plus dot set camera we have done what else is pending processor right so let's say uh, I don't know exactly what processor it uses something like snapdragon. Let's say right. I'm just saying snapdragon. Okay So if you notice here, we are not forcefully saying for a phone for a phone creation You need everything. So if let's say I don't provide the camera It still creates a phone with oneplus. However, I don't want to do that Right, so in these kind of cases when you want to have immutable objects and you want to create an object together and you want to mix and match so if i have a default value i can use it if i don't i can i don't have to use it and i want to do it in a much neater fashion where i want to create it in one shot so for that we use generally builder patterns but there are other ways as well so let's say if i don't have setters so if i let's say remove the setters right let's say i just add only the getters and i add constructors the telescopic constructor so if let's say i add telescopic constructor so what i will do is i'll just add front panel for the first time then i'll add front panel and back panel then i'll add front panel back panel and the processor the next time i'll add all the three all the four right so this is called telescopic constructor creation right where i will force everybody to use all the features or the, all the uh, objects of the phone creation right all the features or the or the uh, parts of the phone creation correct so here i'm just forced to enter everything isn't it so if i just provide uh, only the camera i won't have the back panel i won't have the front panel i won't have the processor or what i will have to do is i will have to remove all these and then i will have to enforce saying create own create with everything but however i want to have some default values right in that case there could be some place where you want to provide only the front panel there could be some case where you want to, to provide a different back panel so for example you can change the camera you can change the back panel you can change the processor 
and stuff like that right so that is when you use the builder design pattern so i don't want to use anything i'll just create delete everything so i have a pojo i'll create something called a builder inside the phone and this is going to be a public static inner class which i'll just call as a builder and i'm going to have exactly the same i'm going to have everything as the same and i'll create a constructor with different methods which are going to be not the setter methods but these are called the builder method so what do these methods return these methods are going to return the instance of the builder itself if you know so why let's see that uh, i'm going to create a front panel by passing let's say string and panel so this will act as a setter however i will be returning the instance of the builder itself so we will be setting the front panel this dot front panel equal to front panel so this way i'll be setting every other object so i'll do the back panel now i'll just set the back panel Next, I need to set the processor. And finally, the camera. So now that all my objects are set, I need to somehow create an object out of these, right? That is why I need a method called build, or you can have any type of method. But in, in, in our case, I'm going to create method called build. So we need to build a phone correct we need to build a phone in order to do that we need to do a phone of this so we need to pass this as a constructor we need to pass the builder instance to the constructor of the phone so we don't have any constructor here i'm going to create the constructor so i'm going to say phone with the builder and we need to assign the front panel from the builder to the phone so this is how we copy the objects from the builder to the phone we can copy everything in the same way back panel we can copy it from the builder back panel i'm going to say processor then camera processor camera so we have copied all the objects from the builder to the phone and we are copying it only when we are doing a build so whenever we create a phone using the builder we pass the objects to the builder and when we say build the phone objects gets built so this is how you can create objects so if you have if you want to have default configuration you can provide that in the builder and when you create the object you don't have to um, provide everything in one go so how do we create these objects we will be creating using phone builder We'll just say builder equal to new phone builder dot now we can set all the back panel we can say sandstone front panel we can say amulet camera we can say 12 megapixel and the processor let's say snapdragon some chip let's say 625 right this is how you create a, a builder now we need to create a phone out of it we can say builder dot build this will create a phone out of it so this is the place where the objects gets created so the phone is what if you print the phone you can get access to all the values from the phone right so if i just print the phone so for simplicity let me override the two string i'll just use the two string builder to create the object however two string builder is not there i'll just say create the two string using string builder if you notice your string builder also in itself is a builder pattern 
so let's cover that in a moment so meanwhile let me run this program so this is how you can create a builder where you want to provide some specific values if you, if you notice here you are getting the values printed we are getting the values printed here so if let's say I, I don't want to provide a back panel i can remove the back panel however i can default some values into the builders here i can provide some default um, configuration let's say this is a phone right so i'm providing some default configurations for the phone and when i'm creating using the builder pattern i can override the different configurations here so that the phone is different so let's say if i want to create an iphone i can give different back panel different front panel different camera different processor and I, I can create a different phone object so this way i don't have to rebuild my phone i don't have to create a complex way in creating an object where i need to say new phone off and then i have to pass different different arguments i need to do setters like how we did here we don't have to do that we can create a builder and we can reuse that builder to build objects so this is how you can build the uh, you can use builder pattern whenever you are using um, in your implementation so builder patterns are generally used when you have complex uh, setters you have lots of arguments uh, it will force immutability so basically if you create a builder it will force you to create an immutable you cannot change that particular object so if you notice here in the phone there is no setters here you cannot change the object because you already created it using the builder pattern so it will force you to do immutability similar examples uh, which we use already are the builder pattern the string buffer or the string builder so this is using string buffer but in general if you use a uh, string builder you would have seen that we use the builder pattern document builder is another example uh, locale builder is another example as well so i'll just mention the example i'll remove this string builder document builder and also there is something called uh, locale builder there are lots of uh, different examples which you can see in the current usage of spring if you use spring if you are using spring reactive components then you can see different builders uh, spring reactive or if you are using uh, mock mvc builders there is something called mock mvc builder api you can see lots of builder design pattern there so these are different examples of uh, builder design patterns in our common day to day usage in general if you notice builder patterns are useful when you have complex setters and you have lots of lots of parameters you want to create and you want to make it immutable uh, before seeing the disadvantages of the builder pattern let's just mention the uh, different usages of the uh, builder pattern for our documentation so that you can go through uh, at a glance um, the builder pattern solves the uh, multiple constructor problem or the telescoping constructor problem it also has a uh, static inner classes which is nothing but the builder it internally calls the required constructors because we are setting it using the builder so it if you want a specific value you can set it if you don't set it it won't be called so you won't have multiple constructors it will internally take care of it also it removes the need for setters so we are not using any setters if you notice in the phone example we are not using any setters we are directly using builder pattern so it negates the use of setters here now let's come to the disadvantages of the builder pattern the major disadvantage is it is immutable we cannot change the object once you have created it if you notice here once you have created the using the builder you have built an object you cannot change it there is no setter in the phone it's all just getters and you can't even access the constructor the other disadvantage is it has inner inner static class which is the builder which itself is a disadvantage also builder design patterns are designed first so you will have to think about it before creation of this particular object so you will have to design this first and then you will have to go for the implementation or else 
it is not going to work because builder design pattern is designed in such a way that you can you have to design it first and then you can use it so which itself is a disadvantage you cannot modify it as and when you go the other one is it is complex so due to its complex nature if you notice here this particular phone object was very small initially and now it has become complex it has got an inner class called builder and then you have duplicate or redundant um, objects and then we are creating lots of methods here and then finally we are calling a build so it is little bit complex when you want to create when you want to understand these lines it is little bit complex so which is a disadvantage of the builder pattern however in general if you know how to use the builder pattern you can use it to solve lots of problems example the multiple constructor problem so that's all i wanted to cover in this particular video hope you liked it meet you again in the next video thank you very much